Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even see you guys there. What? Oh, what's this? Oh, this right here. This is nothing much, just one of my most prized possessions. I actually made this cup back in like sixth grade and it took me so much. On a serious note, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today, if you guys could tell by the title and thumbnail, first of all, you might be blind. Second of all, we are doing the wooden BMX wheel. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Ryan, how in God's green earth were you able to pull this off? And uh, basically, roll back the clip. Oh my God, it's here. What's up? What's up, what you got for me this time? Uh, let's see here. Oh my Boom. God, dude, that's gonna work so good. <sighs> Tool! Dude, this is... Oh, you think we were just doing one? I thought... Yo, that's nuts. These are thick boys, too. Yo. The front wheel is absolutely no problem. The back wheel, we'll have to tinker around with that for a little bit. Alright, what's well, all your information right now? So if anybody in the area needs woodworking. Um, John Customs Creations on Facebook and Instagram. This idea literally originated like four months ago, and now we are finally being able to do this. And just... I'm beyond excited. So without further ado, we are going to get right into this video. No wasting time, no nothing. And we are going to uh, see if this works. Each wooden piece resembles a BMX wheel, exactly 20 inches. And they have a 3 8 hole axle hole thing. So we could do both of them, but both of them both have a 3 8 axle slot. And now we could put a 3 8 in the back with just like a couple washers and stuff. But the only issue being is that if one of them doesn't work, then the other one might not work. I think we should have at least one real BMX wheel on the bike just in case if uh, one of these doesn't work. So we have one to rely on. And to do this, we have literally a load of washers. We have a regular 3 8 axle and then we have like another old axle of that probably won't be able to use. And then we have grease. A whole lot of grease. Before we get going to this video, if you guys happen to be new, then I recommend to go down below and press subscribe because you guys clicked on this video for a crazy little experimental video about BMX bikes. And let me just say this is that we do a whole lot of those on this channel. So uh, go hit that subscribe button. Obviously go hit that notification bell if you guys want to be notified if I post a video like this or honestly any video in general. So without further ado, we're going to finesse our way and put this wheel on the bike. First things first is to take off all these nuts and bolts off this axle. So as you guys can tell, it fits in the hole, but because it's drilled to exactly 3 8 it's not going to fit perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a load of grease on the axle, and then right when it hits about right here, this is about the diameter of the wooden wheel. So it's gonna be rubbing and uh, sliding just right on this flat part right here. So now I'm gonna hook up all the spacers and uh, just get going with it. So we got the wheel all set up absolutely no problems thus far. Now all the only thing to do is to uh, tighten it up. So I was worried about fitment, but it actually fits pretty good. And obviously when I uh, adjust it and make it straight, it'll roll even perfect. Look, look at that. So the only thing left to do is to tighten this bad boy up. Now I'm not sure how good it's going to spin after we tighten it up, but we'll see. Like I said, I wasn't going to be so sure how it spun after we tighten everything up, but here's the thing. When it spins, it doesn't spin that good, but if you guys can tell, and if you guys can see, the bottom two right here that are greased up a little bit, those are the only ones that spin. The other ones just stay in place. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna take this wheel right back off, and we're going to grease each individual spacer just a little bit so it spins a little bit better. You know, aesthetics, you guys get the gist. So we are all done. As you guys can tell right here, it spins way better than what we thought. So without further ado, we are now gonna load the bike up into the car. And we're heading to the skate park. We made it to the skate park and uh, I think I'm ready to show what I have made with uh, Mr. Post Malone right here. Open up the back. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get a reaction. Yeah. Boy, what did you do? <laughs> What's it look like? Some redneck ingenuity. Look like Some you. redneck ingenuity at its finest. Damn. There's no rotation. Yeah, that's heavy as fuck. So much grease had to be used. Like, no joke. How's, how's it looking? It's looking good, but you need to give it a paint job. Yeah. How's she looking? So these are made out of old doors, and he said when he was making them, when he threw like the extra pieces off, they just snapped. Do you guys think it's gonna last? Fuck I mean, no. it's gonna last. 
I can see the screws on that one. Like he did a pretty good you job. See, you know what I mean? You see where yeah, it like, splits? Dude, that's the plug. <laughs> you see where it splits? That's, yeah, so, gonna, so you don't yeah. think it's gonna work? No, it's gonna fall in pieces. So really quickly, I want you guys to go down below and leave a prediction down below of what you guys think is gonna happen. Honestly, it's all for sake. He's already hopping right into it. No 180s, none of that. Yeah. Just roll. How's it feel? Feels like wood. Oh, okay. Chill with that. Oh no. That Yo. rolls a lot better with that off. It rolls better with it off? Yeah, like it, it creates less friction against it. Oh sh Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Like how fast do you think this can go? Rotational, like I think it'll get up to about 10, 12. Without it like really getting wobbly. Okay, I'm gonna drop in from that A-frame and I'm just gonna haul it. Okay, well you got you got a roll on it. How's it feeling? Solid. Jesus, dude, that thing's gonna last a while for us. Jeez. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do one trick on it. Oh! Oh! Fuck yeah, dude. Yo! Oh. Bro, it just slid off. You don't need this. Will, is that yours? Yes. You're the only guy I would ever know that would bring a whole entire tool set to a skate park. All right, we got to fix it now. All right, so what happened basically was the wheel just came off. It didn't break or anything, and it's still it's still all right, but this time we tightened it way more so it doesn't spin that much. If you guys at home are wondering exactly what it feels like, it's just taking off your tube and tire and riding on just the rim. That's exactly what this feels like. It's so heavy. Like you... It's made out of a door. Whatever door that came from, I want that door. Cause that thing's solid. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yo, it's a crack. Jesus. You can hear it cracking. Yeah. This is 100% on its last life right now. Oh. Yo, I'm surprised it's still holding up. Yo, hell yeah. Oh my God, dude. Dude, this thing's gonna die in like any second. drop in first. This might end the whole entire bike. Send it. Oh. Oh. oh! Right in half. I told you guys. It was burning the inside of the actual thing. Will. Oh. Look what happened to broke a half. Bill and Jerry. No, it's Bob and Jerry, bro. It's Bob and Jerry? Bob and Jerry. I got their names wrong. This is the walk of shame. That worked way better than I think almost anybody was anticipating. Now, the only reason why I broke right there is because this was the axle and then right next to the axle was the uh, seam for the glue and uh, it just wasn't strong enough right there. That was actually John's prediction that it would snap right down the middle, the one who uh, made the wheel of course. Now, I do have a whole nother wheel that we could put to the abuse. Now, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section what I should do with this wheel. I was actually going to throw it on the back if the other wheel lasted a little bit longer. I was just going to do two of the wheels, but it, it didn't last, as you guys could see. So leave a comment down below what I should do with this wheel. Honestly, I have no idea. But for the meantime, if you guys seem to enjoy this video thus far, then I recommend to go on below and leave a fat like for your boy. And go leave a subscribe if you guys haven't already because uh, you guys are still watching. Why not? With that, I'm going to strap up the GoPro and catch a quick little session before it gets dark. I think I literally have like 30 minutes of daylight. So enter the GoPro footage right here. All right, let's see what we can get for about 30 minutes. Yo, Will, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going downtown. We're going downtown, boy. We're going downtown. You guys loved that last downtown session, so we're gonna catch another one. Downtown. Yeah, we're going. Post Malone is going downtown. Post Malone's going downtown. All right, but anyways, we're gonna go ride some street, have some fun. Let's get some clips. Dude, 
baby, what you got? Hey. First spot, you guys already know the drill. No fing way. The forks? Oh. I would be getting clips right now if I didn't have a ton of blisters in my hand from uh, mulching er, yesterday, early. I almost said earlier. It's a bummer, but it's whatever. Everybody's stacking clips and having fun on this. On this little contraption right here. Chill. I'm heading out of here. I gotta get home and start editing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video thus far. And of course, if you did, then go down below and leave a fat like and fat subscribe for your boy to show me that you uh, you cared and appreciated this video. As you guys can tell, it is the next day. Last night after I got done riding, I went to a car meet and I had a lot of fun and uh, <laughs> there were some shenanigans being done. But after that, I went home and I edited this video you guys are watching right now and I'm finishing it up this morning because I completely forgot to film the outro last night. Anyways, that's gonna conclude this video. I have to charge up all my batteries for today's episode because, uh, or well, tomorrow's episode for you guys because we're riding big bikes. And when I say big bikes, big bikes. It's gonna be nuts. So with all that, share it with your friends, share the homies, share your dog, share the cat, share your friends, hot mom, share it with your uncle Bethany and I will see you guys. Oh yeah, don't forget to share it with your neighborhood Elsa. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.